Hello, my loves. How are you? Let's do an all signs. Let's do an all signs. Who is coming towards you? So I want to say March, but time isn't linear and my readings are all timeless. So should find you when it's meant to find you. Never force a reading. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. And all my readings are timeless, so you can always flip through the others. King of Wands. Ooh, I like it. Action. So a lot of love in the air right now. King of Wands. All right, let's start with Aries. We'll give a couple more shuffles and we'll go Aries all the way through Pisces. We will ask who's coming towards you and their actions. their next actions towards you, we will also ask outcome, which is, you know, relative because it's always changing. Aries, well, there you are showing up in your own reading. How about that? Sorry, guys. Let's see if I can get this to focus there. Aries, so you could be dealing with another Aries. This is somebody who's strong, capable. Three of swords. Oof. I mean, it does indicate it could be an error sign, but it's the Three of Swords is heartbreak. Somebody who's being very strong, probably after um, being hurt. Hmm. Or are you dealing with the heartbreaker? Let's see. The moon. Ace of Swords. Somebody's coming from darkness to light. So the emperor, again, somebody strong, somebody capable, somebody possibly successful. But in this deck, it looks like somebody who's a bit guarded or in this spread, um, who's going to be more determined or maybe more careful or more selective coming, moving forward. So we've got the moon for their action. So the moon is things that are in the dark. There, there's some uncertainty, but that grows into certainty. This is very interesting. It's got it's got a feel of this person feel has the feel of well I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm going to be a lot more clear and um, determined and selective is what I'm getting. The hermit. Yeah, this person is. Um, it may not be an Aries, but it may just be somebody who's pulling, a, just recently has upgraded to like an Aries energy. Yeah, this person is just going to be more careful. A very strong reading here about about being careful. I think possibly in the past this person was burned because they dove in and were blindsided. So what are their actions? King of Cups. So this person isn't ruined or, you know, like done with love, but they're just, I think, going to be um, more selective and careful. Probably move slow. Or are they kidding themselves? It kind of has that feel of they're going to try. They're holding back, I think. They're trying to be clear and deliberate. Um, I don't know, kind of part of it feels like a little bit of an act, but it is the intention. Let's see, what are they going to do? They are going to come forward with love. <clears throat> Nine of Swords. Still in a lot of thought, though, about the past. It's just a very overwhelming energy, Aries, about this person wanting to um, really just not make the same mistakes again. Let's do Taurus. This person is really um, wanting to learn and grow from the past mistakes. It looks like they've been burned. Maybe they were cheated on. Or the flip side is they could be make, making sure they're with, I don't, there's some, there was some sort of cheating in the past. Okay, four of pentacles for Taurus. Four of wands. So fours might be significant. Four of pentacles. Hmm. Oh, no, five of wands. Somebody who's feeling very defensive. 
I think maybe this person has had a, a, in the recent past has been picked on, but you're dealing with somebody that's either, could be an earth sign, somebody who's very protective. And defensive even or I'm getting like done with the petty bickering or not going to be crit something with criticism okay let's see the ace of wands I just, this person is strongly, strongly guarded. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I got back, caught back on that. So Ace of Wands, their next actions is to come towards you. Yeah, wow. Somebody's coming towards you big time. So I just feel like I need to give you more on who it is. You probably know. It's somebody that's been in chaos, conflict, um, has been, feel like I, I almost want, I feel like picked on. Their next actions towards you are Knight of Swords. And just like the last reading, this person wants to choose wisely because they've been through a lot. What's let's see if we can get what we can get for outcome. Oh, I forgot to do the the card where you could learn. I was gonna do at the end of each one an oracle card of what you could work on. So we'll do that still. Wow. Looks like you're gonna have somebody um Good, a good fit here. Ten of Pentacles. So be patient with this person because this person does want to charge forward, but it looks like they've been, you know, had coming from something difficult. This person really is all about stability and wanting solid family. This does not have a player feel, although they do. It does look like they're going to rush forward. Let me pull an oracle. So something you could work on, Taurus, is trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So you've got to really pay attention to that, that glitch when you're feeling a glitch about something or someone or not to make the call or not to um, trust or you got to listen to that. Let's pull one for Aries because we skipped it. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges, okay? All right, moving on to uh, Cancer. No, Gemini. Gemini. So what is, who's coming towards Gemini? Gemini. Who's coming towards Gemini? Three of Wands, Fire Sign. <clears throat> Can be a Fire Sign. Three of Wands, that's somebody who's very progressive, somebody who looks to the future, somebody who likes to continue to grow um, financially. It looks like somebody who's working on their finances, somebody who's dedicated. Okay, Six of Wands, wow. Their actions toward you, Six of Wands, that's somebody who, um, the Six of Wands is about recognition, credit. So this is somebody who looks like they're going to see your value. Perfect. Yeah, somebody, wow, somebody who views you as somebody that will fit into their world on a high level. It's pretty awesome. Nine of Swords, somebody who has a past of, I don't know, this person might be an overthinker. So this is somebody who really aggressively like wants the whole, the whole picture. They want the, they've got the world card here. They want to put it into, to the d distrust in the past and choose wisely. Yeah, they're going to put a lot of thought into it. See, look at this. They're going to come in stable. Slow and stable, so don't rush it. This is somebody who wants, this is somebody who's traditional, okay? Somebody who wants to pamper and shower somebody with affection and recognition. Um, let's get an oracle for you. Okay. 
What could Gemini work on? Change. I understand that nothing can, can grow or evolve without movement. So you got to move, take steps forward. Don't, you know, keep doing the same thing, expecting different results, Gemini. Okay, let's do Cancer. Cancer. Five of Wands. <clears throat> hmm. Could be dealing with uh, somebody fiery, a fire sign. Wow, could be dealing with an Aries. Could be, it doesn't have to be. It could be somebody that is very fiery and maybe very deliberate and I hope it's not somebody critical. Are you dealing with somebody critical? Actions towards you. The death card. And the lover. So this person looks like they have to end something. Or they're getting out of something. Or they just got out of something. Hmm. Any more? Yeah, they just got out of a painful ending. Cancer. It's a possible outcome for cancer. Unknown, looks like. So this is somebody that is just rising above a difficult situation. The Five of Wands, it's so much bickering. It's petty. Like, this person is not going to be into the petty stuff. They want... Um, they're, they're just very dead set on cutting things out. And they're going to be very deliberate about it. This person might be a little bit hard to read. Yeah, with the King of Swords. They may seem de detached. Um, they're, but they're going to make a decision <clears throat> to end something or, or not put up with things that are, you know, difficult. Knight of Wands. Yeah. This person may be very deliberate, but it's like, kind of like they've got it. They've got it. I've had enough of this energy. Let's see what Cancer... Grief. This is what cancer could work on um, or improve themselves. We have, whoops, whoa, that almost fell. I can accomplish it, what I set my mind to, so discipline, and I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Wow. I think this person is going to really appreciate somebody that's grounded and not petty. That, I think, is the strong, strongest message that's coming through for cancer. Okay, let's look at Leo. Okay, Leo. Whoops, almost caught my finger on fire. Let's see what's going on for Leo. Oof, somebody's coming towards you. Oh, wow, look at the two cards that came out. Yeah, man, Leah, wow. You've got equal love here. Let's just stop here, can we? Um, two cups. Somebody very loving, somebody who sees a big picture. This is strong. you got a major love offer coming in. It's somebody that looks like they are um, extremely loving. Um, water sign, possibly loving and stable this is somebody kind of dreamy i think this is somebody that's going uh, very doting okay yeah somebody gift i feel like gift giving oh again same exact cards look at this same thing i said somebody who's loving and giving financially like uh gift giving and then you got queen of pentacles and this person is going to make it known that's who's coming towards you. Somebody that's going to make it known that they want something, I think, very um, stable with you. So what can Leah work on? What's a good thing for Leah? Whoa. Okay. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Something Leo can work on. Wow. Okay. 
patience, Leo. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Don't force something because you're being impatient. Okay, also discipline was next. Don't know why I pulled it, but I did. So patience and discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Oh, my candle burned out. Wow, I tried to set it to 30 minutes, but apparently not. All right, let's do Virgo. What's going on for Virgo? Who's coming towards you? King of Wands, somebody passionate, Aries, Aries. I said Aries, it could be a fire sign. Um, somebody well-traveled. Well-spoken, well-traveled, respected. Could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody who's very clear. Did I say well-spoken? Well-spoken, well-traveled. Somebody that you look up to, that's admired. Okay, the moon. Wow actions towards you, the moon and the two of cups. So this is somebody, something that you looks like you can't even see or you haven't seen yet. You haven't seen that, that what their actions are going to be, which is to offer. I mean, the two of cups is two people who love, two people who give, two people who see eye to eye. This is somebody who's going to be very clear about their intention. So if it's not very clear, now I'm not saying rush it, but if it's not very clear when it's progressing, then that is either not your reading or it's not the right person. Okay, two of pentacles. This may be somebody who's trying to choose between you and someone else. Yes, gosh, wow, these cards are so strong today. This is options. This person's trying to choose between two. Wow. Um, wow. Queen of Cups. This person's going to offer love. I, I think this is somebody that's been holding back because you may not know this. There's something unknown. The reason they're holding back and not giving equally is because they're trying to make a decision. I looks like between you and someone else. Yeah, but there's a decision going to be made. So that's why they're holding back. This is freaky. The things, the cards are coming out exactly how I'm saying them. Freaky. Okay, Virgo. Good stuff. Also, there's your card. Could be a Virgo, could be a Pisces. Could be an air sign or a um, fire sign. What, what would be Virgo for, what would be Virgo for good to know? What would be good for Virgo to work on? Wow. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. It's funny because I know I just read this, but I didn't, don't remember the orange. I don't remember the color. How strange. Like sometimes I feel like I kind of zone in and out. All right, so Virgo, you got somebody coming towards you, somebody who is trying to choose between two people. Um, but, and we can, you know, be pissy about it and go, oh, well, screw that or whatever. But, um, you know, that's kind of life. Everybody has choices and choices come from what? Options, right? So don't be pissy about it. Um, doesn't mean you sit and wait for someone, right? So let's see. Libra. What's gonna come for Libra? How much you wanna bet it is a fire sign? Hmm. Could be a Pisces. Somebody from the past that was unsure is returning. You know what I'm getting already is that this person you've got the you've got the uh, chariot and the hangman, 
So you've got Pisces Cancer. Um, seven of Wands. So somebody that seemed like maybe they were very guarded in the past is kind of rich. It looks like a return, yeah. Letting their guard down. And I think this person's gonna be very communicative about it. Could be a Cancer, could be a Virgo, could be a Taurus, could be a Pisces. Yep, this person is gonna make a decision and they're going to be very, lots of love right now. Very deliberate about it and very clear about it. Somebody that's letting their guard down that was, um, it's a return. It's a return. Any, any chance we can ask for outcome? Can we get outcome? Page of lines, communication. So you'll be receiving a text. Um, I feel like it's important to say that it seems like this person, there's some element of not, of knowing that you don't need them. Like there's this element of being attracted to not neediness. Okay, so what does Libra, well, Libra, you are all about change. Um, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. How crazy, we're getting the same. Okay. I can release my need to control. There's a, there's just, there's a, there's something strong here about not feeling like you have to prove it or not be needy or something. Yeah, look at this strong Libra. You've gotten the strongest reading. Um, I'm learning to accept things I cannot change. Now, you guys know these all signs, I love doing them. They're light. They're just really light. I mean, my my individual sign readings, those go really in-depth. We get pretty deep in those. Um, but, you know, these are super light. So, uh, light and short. Okay, Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. Who's coming towards Scorpio? My gosh, that hangman card, Ace of Cups. Somebody's coming toward you that, again, somebody that was held back in the past, that's seeing things differently. They've changed their mind. They've been defensive, and they're coming forward. Look how the cape flows on this, almost from one card to another. They're, it's like they're walking away from being defensive, letting guards down because they figured something out that they're going to have to offer love or show love. I would say make sure you're receptive to this. I'm going to peek, but I'm not going to keep those because they seem like they just keep coming out or it was too many. So that was the world card, something changing. I think that was a knight. Um... What are their next actions? Something deliberate. Wow, this is like kind of a, a clear decision. The sword's not up, it's not down. It's like, yes, this is what I need to do. Somebody did a lot of thinking and is coming towards you. Oh, priestess. You may not see it yet. It's unknown or it's unknown to you, I believe. It does kind of look like a return, doesn't it? Somebody's coming towards you with love. Okay, this three of pentacles. You guys keep your eye out for threes because this three of pentacles um, kind of wouldn't leave me alone. Three of pentacles. There's progress towards this. Oh, no, I'm going to run out of time. My camera's going to cut off. I'm going to have to speed this up. We may have to do the signs in different orders because... I feel like I get rushed towards the end. Unless I just do a whole, I have to upload and go through processing all, all that if I don't keep it on one, one, if I have to change my camera card out because the camera cuts off, you know. Okay, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. This is where you could grow. All right. So, that was Scorpio. Let's do Sagittarius.
Sagittarius. Oops. I feel defensiveness. Sagittarius, someone's coming towards you, possibly a Libra. Hmm, somebody that's been hurt. We've got the three swords. Okay, this person is trying to figure out how is what this looks like. Oh, maybe how to walk away. So temperance, patience, balance. Um, Sagittarius, I feel like somebody's coming towards you that has been, like, has left, either been kicked out or somebody's trying to redeem. This looks like somebody's trying to redeem themselves from, maybe they left. Yeah, there's an element of this person's trying going to try to come in and somebody that wasn't giving, I think, didn't give looks like they're going to come in and give give more wasn't um hmm. there was a, it looks like an unequal reciprocity it looks like a return somebody that it ended with somebody's going to try and get you back is what this is looking like i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence so this is where you could learn or grow to Cappy Capricorn. I guess I should grab these, huh? <laughs> I'm getting all twisted up because I'm hurrying. Er, Capricorn. Can we do three readings in two minutes? Let's see. Okay, so the next reading I'm gonna start it. Um, start with Pisces and work my way up the the scale. Okay, so we don't rush so much. So six of Wands. Hmm. Who's coming towards you? Maybe a fire sign, somebody who likes um, recognition, somebody who is in, maybe even in the public eye, somebody who wants to, somebody who's very big on showing love, or, or somebody who has a lot, has a lot of recognition, has a lot of love. Very sweet. Yeah, somebody successful coming towards you. It, like, I feel like maybe this is somebody that you bring the kid out in them, or they're very, they feel childlike or playful with you. It could be somebody that hurt you in the past. What's the outcome? Somebody that held back. So I'd say if you want advice, your advice would be to be playful. Yeah, you've got to return. You're going to have communication. Somebody's going to come towards you real quick. Let's do a card on growth. Yeah, you've got to return. There's judgment twice. Every Everyone has their own path and unique challenges. You've got to return coming, and it looks good. Let's do Aquarius. Okay. I'm just put, I'm put this back because I wasn't sure how much they shuffled, but it was... Oh, now I don't know what it was. It was Knight of Swords. Okay, you got someone major coming in. Somebody that's going to be very, so much love and going on right here. Um, somebody major, major coming in with a love offer. Somebody who's going to be very clear and decisive about it. It could be an apology. But it's going to be something that makes you very happy. Okay, let me grab. Hopefully I won't run out. Oh, sorry, guys. Forgiveness, that's where you could grow, okay? Forgiveness, let's see if we can get Pisces in before my camera cuts off. You guys, please leave comments. Let me know if you like these. Let me know what you don't like. I'm always open to that. Seven of Pentacles, the world card. A cycle closes, leaves you with options. Um, something that can grow stable. Don't settle. Nine of Wands. Don't settle out of um, pain, okay? 